greetings and salutations. We're back, and I'm cruising through. And you can see back, vaguely see back there. I put the tip of the mast right there where the, the wreckage is. You can see where I got going through all these ships of the damned. But uh, you can, there's, there's some, I passed through some wreckage. And this kind of gets into another topic. So I, I, earlier my bed got destroyed, and I didn't realize the bed got destroyed. And I got hung up on the back of my, a ladder for whatever reason. I couldn't climb up the ladder. It was like somehow I was glitched in between the anchor and the ladder. I don't know. But I drowned. And then I didn't realize the bed was dead. So I respawned basically on the other, six tiles away. So I built a quick little raft, and I'm trying to make my way across the map. So, you know, of course, it's like on average between 30 to 45 minutes to sail across a tile. And uh, so I'm, I'm doing the do, right? I'm doing the do. And I realized uh, I just woke up from a nap, so I'm, I'm feeling extra creative right now. But I realized there's a few little things that would improve quality of life. And I'm always about... You know, I started this whole channel a couple of years ago when I played Conan, and I would realize that there were issues that needed to be addressed, and it was, t or I found bugs that were too hard to articulate in a, a text format, and so I would just make a quick little video to capture, be like, oh, this thing's clipping through the wall, or oh, this this door when you open it, you know, separates the from the door frame, whatever. So, I digress. So one of the things I realized is as I'm coming through the map here. So I can't, the M's not working. I can't pull the map, so I have to separate my, oh my, my I for, I've forgotten the hotkeys. There we go. Uh, e, e to get off. There we go. It didn't work last time. So if I pull my map, let me zoom in. I kind of wish the, the map controls on, uh, uh, you know, when I'm looking at this, I realize that the seven key works and the, the eight key and the nine key, but if you don't have a number pad, that's, that stuff doesn't doesn't work. I kind of wish that I could use my uh, I could use my maybe my uh, arrow keys to move around the map with you know not or maybe my number keys like the eight, seven, and six, and I could I could zoom around the map because because they don't do anything. It's that they pull up the atlas if I hit eight, but. That whole map function, you know, eight, four, six, and two should be able to look up, down, right, and left on the map, and then I can still use my mouse button to control the um, the compass. And all of this would, you know, without any cost of of um, you know asset development, this would improve the overall game experience significantly without without spending any money, and it helps help people stick around. Uh, and I, I'm going to do a couple more videos on PvP, PvE versus PvP because I've I got about 900 hours into the game. And, you know, if you want to talk about beta testing or testing, put some serious playtime in and you'll realize that there are some issues with the game. That's not what this video is about. This video is about when I, when I dr drive past or sail past, drive past, when I sail past a wreckage, it should mark it on the map. It should put it on the map. For like 30 minutes or 40 minutes or an hour uh, or even 15 minutes right it should just it should just tag it on the map for a short period of time and then and then after a short period maybe it's an hour well, that's for the devs to figure out it's not you know uh, and then that way it it kind of gives more of that um, atlas map data logging kind of vibe right it just records it in a text file and it puts a little you know a little sh they already have the shipwreck icon that exists and that way when you're exploring them you can you build that community because you can like hey brother i'm not going to mess with it but there's a 4.5 shipwreck out there and um and you can send a screenshot or you could link it in text and you kind of develop that that aspect, and you could go halfway and just have it recorded on the map because that already exists. The icons already exist. You know, when you do your when you do your um, when you do your your uh, sexton, it puts them on the map. But the issue that I've been ha coming across is when I was on PvP, people would lock down the islands, and so what that would do is. Uh, I, I hated it, the experience so much. I just segued over to PVE because my, the things I enjoy about the game are the sailing, the exploration, the treasure hunting, and um, yeah, th those three. Th and then the combat, right? Uh, fighting the animals and 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 the taming. And when you play on a PVP server, all that, all those game aspects and core things go out the window because people lock down islands. 
and they build these pillar towers with uh, poggle guns on them. And it, you know, they just added this feature where guns just come with a uh, crew. I think that made it made it even worse because now people can create guns without having to go through the trouble of farming up, um, without farming up uh, a crew member. That's kind of it was kind of a deterrent and a little extra work to keep them from locking down those islands. But for because of that, forget about any type of exploration or farming different types of animals are, you know, these key elements of the game, mechanics of the game that exist, PvP just completely, like, takes them off the board for for 90% of the players, and all those islands just get locked down, and plus there's no community, and that's probably arguably the biggest, biggest aspect of the game is, or any multiplayer or, or MMO experience, is you, you want community. The community will drive the player base, it'll drive the videos, it'll drive the self-promotion, all that stuff. Like, for example, Tesla. You know, Tesla has a community. They don't advertise their vehicles, but yet they're selling lots of vehicles, and it's all from community. So those, those, things, those, those things that de develop community are, are your most important development priorities um, because of... It's the staying power. Also, uh, they talked roughly about the, the kind of the, the seasonal wipes. I think that's such a big mistake. I think that's a big mistake. I realize they might do it for server performance, but they, this game doesn't level up as easy as other games. And I got, I probably got about 40 hours into leveling up a character on the PvP server. Got about 35, and um, and I was like, this is stupid. And so I just moved over to the PvP, and I think right now I'm back to like 20, level 20. And, um, you know, I enjoy the gameplay experience, but but um, just some tiny refinements and the way some of this stuff works, you know, like m moving around the map. Uh, it's just you have the zoom in and you have the, the zoom out, but but it just it just doesn't doesn't work very well. And if I once I if I zoom out and then I want to move the map it's just it's just wonky and it badly needs to be redone um but yeah there, you know i know this is kind of a an uh a bug maybe a bug report i don't know what to call this uh, a wish list but yeah thanks thanks for uh watching